Dr. Zaidi, we've seen that former President Bill Clinton and Vice President Cheney have been in the news lately because of their heart disease and problems. We see it over and over again whenever someone has an angioplasty, stent, bypass, heart attack. It happens again a few years later. Why is this? Are these guys getting the optimal treatment, do you think? Angioplasties, stent placement, heart bypass surgery, these are actually temporary fixes. They do not take care of your underlying disease process. And until or unless you take care of your underlying disease process, you will continue to have more and more coronary events. So what is it about heart disease that's not being addressed? Well, uh, there are many risk factors for heart disease. One of them is high LDL cholesterol. And that is the only one factor that is being addressed, being treated, high LDL cholesterol. Uh, there are many other risk factors for heart disease which are not being addressed and not being treated. Low HDL cholesterol. HDL cholesterol we also call as good cholesterol. High triglycerides. Now anyone who is having low HDL cholesterol and high triglyceride is basically having a disease process in the body called insulin resistance. Now what is insulin resistance? Well, insulin resistance is a very complex disease process in the body. Uh, I can simplify by saying that uh, your own insulin in your body becomes less effective in doing its job. So as a result of that, uh, your body produces more and more insulin. And this high level of insulin is not good for the rest of the body. This high level of insulin causes narrowing of the blood vessels and contributes towards uh, narrowing of the coronary arteries and in this way contributes towards uh, coronary artery disease. Uh, this high insulin level also causes high blood pressure. This high insulin level also contributes towards growth of cancer. And then eventually what happened, your body is unable to produce all these huge amount of insulin and at that point you uh, start becoming uh, pre-diabetic and eventually you become diabetic. So it's one continuous long process uh, where you start out with just low HDL cholesterol, high triglycerides, and uh, high insulin level, which unfortunately a lot of physicians don't even check. And then uh, this insulin resistance is damaging your body. A lot of people actually die of heart attack before they even become diabetic. But if you live long enough, then most of these people end up becoming diabetic. So it's one continuous process, starting with low HDL and high triglyceride. And you can stop this process at any time you want, but in order to stop the process, first you have to know the disease, you have to investigate it properly, and you have to start treatment. Only then you can hope to stop the disease progression. So assuming you have a heart attack, you go to the hospital, your cardiologist does an angioplasty or a stent, don't they then start treating your insulin resistance? Unfortunately, uh, most cardiologists, uh, what they do, they treat elevated LDL cholesterol. Uh, many of them, uh, they don't even investigate you for insulin resistance. And uh, because insulin resistance really uh, is under the domain of endocrinologists. And have you ever seen uh, any patient who is having uh, heart disease uh, saying, oh, I'm seeing an endocrinologist for my heart disease. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never happens. No. So in order to be properly evaluated for insulin resistance, uh, you really have to see an endocrinologist. And your evaluation include uh, two hours glucose tolerance test, your insulin level. So this is something every heart attack patient should have. In my opinion, absolutely. Every heart attack patient should have, should have a thorough evaluation for insulin resistance, which includes a two hours glucose tolerance test, insulin level in their blood, and there are several other uh, uh, tests as well. But these two are the minimum tests that should be done in every patient with heart disease. 
So what other factors um, affect heart disease besides insulin resistance that you just spoke about? Recently, uh, vitamin D deficiency uh, has uh, come up uh, as a very significant uh, risk factor for heart disease. In 2008, there were two excellent studies uh, published in medical journals, uh, and both of those studies clearly shown that if your vitamin D level is low, you are at twofold increased risk for having coronary artery disease. And right here uh, is a strong uh, evidence showing that vitamin D deficiency is linked to heart disease. So every person with a heart attack should also have their vitamin D level checked? Oh, absolutely. Uh, not only uh, for uh, prevention of heart disease, but also for prevention of cancer, diabetes, uh, osteoporosis, uh, immune system problems. I mean, vitamin D deficiency is linked to so many diseases, including heart disease. Uh, and it's absolutely important that everyone should have their vitamin D level checked and get to a good dose of vitamin D and get it to a good level of vitamin D. And you're going to have so many benefits, including prevention of uh, further coronary events. Are there any other factors we should be looking at regarding uh, heart disease? Yes. There are two other factors that are pretty well known, actually. One of them is vitamin B12 deficiency and the other is uh, folic acid deficiency. Both of these uh, deficiencies uh, lead to elevation of homocysteine, which is a substance in the blood. And several studies have shown that anyone who has high level of homocysteine is at high risk for having heart disease as well as stroke. Okay. So yes, anyone who has heart disease should have their LDL level checked, yes, and treated. But in addition to that, they should also have evaluation for insulin resistance, evaluation for vitamin D level, and also have their vitamin B12 and folic acid uh, checked. And each one of these risk factors should be treated properly. Sounds like a sensible plan. Thank Only you. Only then you can hope to prevent recurrence of coronary events. Well, here's hoping that Clinton Cheney um, have all these factors checked and we won't be hearing about them again due to their heart disease. Oh, I hope so. Thank you. So remember when you saw me? Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I know that about yes, that's eight, about nine that, years ago. Like was, nine, ten years ago yeah. about that. And I used to go to, you know, my other, you know, family doctor about like, say, 12 years before that. Mm -hmm. And I had a high cholesterol and uh, then, you know, he gave it to me, like uh, all kind of whatever medicine, Zocor, and he said that your cholesterol will be fine. And, and I that was... That is what typically physicians do. Exactly. Anybody with cholesterol disorder, they put yeah. on a stat. But what was your good cholesterol? Oh, HDL. HDL was, I think, uh, like 30, 30. Yes, that is low. Yeah, yes. that was 30. Yes. And the bad cholesterol was you know, very high and the... Triglyceride was more than 200, 300, something like go. that. You there know. you go. Now, and anyone who has high HDL, uh, sorry, low HDL and high triglycerides, uh, what they are having is insulin resistance. Right. And in general, physicians don't test for that. Right. One day I happened to be in the hospital. I had a heart attack. I went to, you know, and then they put, you know, angioplasty to me about like say I think in May 2002 okay. and then after you know uh, they put a two stand on my you know heart and then whatever they have a you know routine the medicine and all these things I followed three three months their exercise and all these and then you know um, I checked to you and then you put me on the right kind of medicine and which is like a, you know Zocor and all these things and plus vitamin D Yes. And since then, I am taking, you know, high dose, like uh, 6,000 vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And that time my vitamin D was, I think, uh, uh, like 9, 10, something like that. Well, it was very low. Yes. Remember, and yes. then, after that, uh, as soon as I took the vitamin D and all these, your advice, mm -hmm. and here I am. Mm -hmm. I never had any problem, ever. And then, Wonderful. 